Hi, it's Ken Ham, and I'm President of Answers in Genesis Creation Museum in the Ark Encounter, and we're live from our Ark Design Studios. Uh, I have a special guest we're going to meet uh, in a moment to tell us about uh, boarding passes, a unique opportunity, and 12 days to go, but I'll explain that in a moment. I'm in front of the Anisodon, and we have one of our artists here, Levi. Uh, so, Levi, the Anisodon is part of which kind? It's part of the Kalakathiri kind. It's Greek for gravel beast. Oh, of course, I knew that. Uh, I'm sure everybody out there knew that. Uh, so this is, oh, there it is there. Oh, this is our concept art for it. Oh, I see. And uh, this is going to be in the ark. It will be in the ark. And there's a pair of them. There's a pair of the other ones over there. And one of the unique aspects about some of the animals you're sculpting here is you're doing some of the extinct kinds, uh, the extinct animals that, that we find in the fossil record. Yes. But we don't see them alive today. So people are going to get an interesting experience. You're going to see a number of unique animal kinds on the ark. We have, yes, this is, it's an extinct species of an extinct kind. And one thing that I really, really enjoy about this is, to my knowledge, some of the animals that we're doing have never been done before, been built before for museums or anything, as far as I know. Well, that, and that is going to be a unique aspect of this. I think people are going to see things that they just don't see anywhere else in the world. Definitely, very definitely. So you enjoy your work here as an artist? Oh, I love working here. So much fun. And what, what's the best part of it? The best part of it is, I guess the three best parts of it are working with amazing people, um, working for an amazing goal, and I absolutely just love the work as well. And the amazing goal is? The amazing goal is building the ark, finishing it up, and uh, wait, just seeing what God does with it uh, to change the world. Oh, there we are. That's, that's a good way of putting it. Now, I wanted to show you this too. Another aspect of what we're doing, we, we have our sculptors, artists, but we have a CNC machine, quite a large one. It's a computer numerical control router, and it's really a robotic drill. Now, let's have a look at this. Uh, they're going to be putting this up in the ark as people enter on. It's got the verse of scripture there from Genesis 7. On this very same day, Noah, his wife, his sons, and his sons' wives entered the ark, all the livestock, every beast, every winged creature, and every creeping thing in which there is a breath of life, went into the ark two by two. And this is going to be done up as a large display. And I want to show you how this is being done. So we'll come out here. I mean, there's a lot of hand sculpturing and carving going on, but when we come out here, we see, there we are. That's the CNC machine, the computer numerical control router. And so that illustration you saw is now being carved out here. And when you come to the ark, when it's open, you'll be able to see this as a display item as you're entering the ark. So there we are. And then just while we're out here in this part of our large workshop, we we'll just show you some of the artists that are working feverishly, getting the exhibits finished up for our July 7 opening. Don't forget, go to arcencounter.com uh, to find out more about it. And here they're working on a model of the arc uh, that'll be part of one of the exhibits. And then over further, you can see the pagan temple that they're working on. We have some very, very talented people here. A lot of the exhibits have already been taken down to the ark, ready for installation. And I'm amazed at how much they accomplish so quickly. So we'll go back into the sculpting studio. And I have another special guest in there that I want you to meet. So we'll go back in here. A lot going on. This is only one of our workshops here. We have another big workshop and offices and places where all the various artists work. Come in here. You can see that the Doug here has finished the ape kind. Not quite. And, but yeah, but you're an artist. Nothing's ever finished, Doug. Well, it'll be, it'll be a little bit different than that. It's going to be darker. Oh, okay. So... Uh, it's almost finished. It is real close. Real close. And this is the pig kind. The uh, face has got a lot more uh, hair to be punched into it, and it, uh, 
the fur is going to be more of a, a darker brown color when I'm done. And then uh, the pig kind. Yeah, this is uh, represents all the pigs alive today. Um, okay. So yeah, it's a looks a lot like a boar. It's going to have some differences. We're going to uh, start to finish the hair on the legs, but. Um, Okay. Trying to blend the various thing, various aspects of different pigs in there. Well, we'll let you get on with that work there, and uh, we'll come in here, and we have our seamstress sewing feverishly. She's getting clothing ready and all sorts of other items ready for uh, the ark. And I know there's a lot of rugs and curtains, and it's going to look spectacular. And you can see they're working on other animals over here. And also our VP of Advancement, Joe Byrne. Joe, do you want to come over here for a moment while they're working there on the giraffe kind at the back and, and the sloth kind I see here at the front. Still got to finish the heads on those. But, uh, Joe, we have a couple of deadlines coming up that I want you to tell people about. A unique opportunity, and this will never again be available, uh, right. lifetime memberships to the Ark that include a lifetime membership to the Creation Museum. That's right. So they can come as much as they want, whenever they want, these lifetime memberships. We call them boarding passes, but the boarding pass for the ARC, a lifetime boarding pass, and you get a lifetime membership as well for the Creation Museum. That's right. So why don't you tell us about those, because the deadline comes up in 12 days. They'll never be available again. This is your last opportunity for these. That's right. Yeah, there's actually uh, multiple kinds of boarding passes. We have individual, family, grandparent versions. Uh, they come in a lifetime version, and we even have a three-year charter, charter boarding pass that's available, and again, just through May 31st. The three-year boarding pass uh, actually has an option. In the first three years that you, you own that, you can upgrade to a lifetime pass as well. So it's a less expensive option if that's something you would like to consider as well. But uh, different versions for all different uh, kinds of families and individuals to participate in. I encourage you to go online. There's a lot of information on there that tells about the various benefits about that. And then is as there well, a pastor's one too? There is a pastor's one, and that one actually people can donate for. You can donate and then designate a pastor that you want to receive, and that's a 10-year boarding pass for their family. Uh, that includes eight guest tickets that they can share with anyone to bring along. Uh, with them as well. Now, the, the lifetime boarding passes that people can obtain, do they include guest tickets too? They do. And you can read about that in the benefits that are online. Uh, you get eight guest tickets uh, that you can use. Every year? Every year. Eight guest tickets that uh, will be renewed. It's a use it or lose it. One day admission to the Ark Encounter uh, that you can share with others. And this is a tremendous opportunity for Legacy because uh, once we go past the end of May, the lifetime Boarding passes are no longer available. That's right. And as I said, those lifetime boarding passes to the Ark for family or your uh, grandchild one. That's right. Uh, for grandparents, grandparents. or uh, th that one uh, uh, is a tremendous legacy, I believe, that you it could is. leave. But these will not be available again. And they do include lifetime membership to the museum. So it includes to both attractions. Yes. Yes, it does. In fact, if you're a grandparent and you have grandchildren, there's even options if you get the grandparent one that... For your grandkid passes, you can upgrade them any time in the next three years to their own lifetime family boarding pass. So that could carry on for generations uh, beyond your grandchildren as well. And, and the lifetime membership, again, uh, if, if they want to, they could just get a three-year one. They could. And they're allowed to convert that afterwards. They can convert that. To but a, that's an opportunity to have a lifetime membership. That's right. That's right. So. Now we have another deadline coming up too. We do, it's also May 31st, and that is for the ability to sponsor a peg, plank, or beam in the ark. That's a tax deductible donation, but it actually gives you a direct connection into the ark. In fact, one of the things that you'll receive when you sponsor a peg, plank, or beam is a certificate like this. Uh, this is a sponsorship certificate, and it comes with a specific serial number so that when the ark is completed, You'll be able to go online and key in that serial number and see generally where your peg, plank, or beam is located within the ark. So a direct connection to the ark itself. And then, if you're a sponsor of one of the planks or beams, you'll actually have an opportunity to get passes that you can claim to come to the private ribbon cutting ceremonies that we're going to have when the ark opens. And uh, Joe, we have a matching gift opportunity right now too. We do. That matching gift is for 
uh, say, a $100 gift, it will be matched $50. It's a 50% matching gift, and that goes through June 15th on all gifts that are made to the Ark Encounter. And that even includes, like if you made the donation for the pastor's boarding pass, that would be matched as well. So we're really coming up to some deadlines here. We are. Uh, deadlines for, well, deadlines for the opening of the Ark. Of course. It's going to be open on July 7. And also deadlines concerning the lifetime memberships, lifetime boarding passes, mm -hmm. unique opportunity, never available again. Uh, so I encourage people to look at that and the grandparent option yes. as a legacy for the grandchildren who can upgrade to the lifetime That's ones right. later on. They have that opportunity. And the three-year one to upgrade mm -hmm. later on as well. And then the peg, peg plank or bean sponsorship and the opportunity to have your gift matched 50% uh, yeah. up until middle of June. That's right. You know, one, one last thing I'll, I'll comment about, you know, there's a lot of families that love coming to the Creation Museum to the, and soon to the, to the Ark Encounter. And the family boarding pass that, that we have available till May 31st, it includes all of your immediate children, even if they're not born yet. So you can add children in the future uh, that come into your family for no additional cost. It's one price, includes all your kids. So the more children you have, the greater value it is. And if people already have a museum membership, there are some, mm -hmm. some people, quite a lot of people, have a lifetime membership to the museum, mm -hmm. and they want to get a lifetime boarding pass to the Ark, which includes a museum a lifetime membership mm -hmm. too, we let them donate their previous membership to another family. Either way, they can donate uh, their admission passes that they get with their Ark Encounter or their uh, existing museum membership. They can donate to uh, another individual or family uh, to use as well. So a great way to uh, gifting opportunity for you uh, to give those as, way, uh, as well. Well, we're here at the Ark Design Studio. We see people working really hard here. Uh, we have other workshops around here too, uh, sculptors, artists, all sorts of people working hard uh, on these exhibits. A lot of exhibits already been taken down to the Ark and I'll try to do another live broadcast from the Ark in a few days, maybe on the weekend sometime. Uh, but Joe, these are exciting times, aren't they? They are. We're nearing the finish. And you and I have traveled all across America <laughs> for fundraising dinners and desserts, <laughs> yeah. and we've met a lot of people out there. We have. And we've logged a lot of miles. <laughs> yes. Yes, we have. We know a lot of supporters who are watching right now have probably been to some of our events and uh, seen us uh, present a lot of information over the years. And we, we thank you for your support. You know, I have people stop, actually, here at the mm -hmm. ministry saying, you know, with Ken, it's not the years, it's the miles. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's the miles. <laughs> We've been putting a lot of miles on in recent times. So anyway, uh, we're going to sign off here. I encourage you to go to arcencounter.com, arcencounter.com. Find out all the information you need about those memberships, about the peg plank or beam sponsorships, about the exhibit sponsorships, and about our 50% uh, matching gift offer that we have from some supporters. So arcencounter.com, this is a unique opportunity for you, 12 days left to obtain those lifetime boarding passes, including lifetime membership to the Creation Museum. And I'll sign off here with Joe Boone from the Arc Encounter Design Studios.